Smartphones. I remember when I was growing up and got my first phone. It looked like this. I thought the phone was so cool. But when you open up the phone, you'll notice most of it is covered in buttons. And here's the second phone I ever owned. Notice anything similar? It is also covered in buttons. But then in 2007, the world changed when Apple introduced the iPhone. The iPhone was the first phone with almost no buttons. How is this possible? Well, it probably seems obvious now, but what Apple had done was put a touch screen into their phone. And the iPhone, with its magical screen and no buttons, changed the world. Since it was released in 2007, Apple has sold more than 2 billion iPhones around the world. But how did Apple figure out how to do this? And how does the screen on an iPhone, or any other smartphone for that matter, know when you touch it? Have you ever thought about it? How can touchscreens tell when you touch them? Now would be a good time to pause the video and discuss. Well, there's actually more than one correct answer, and that's because there's many different types of touchscreens that we use today. For example, here's something you've probably never even thought of as a touchscreen before. But every time you see someone sign their name at a store, they are using a touchscreen to write their signature. But I know what you're thinking. That screen doesn't look anything like the bright, colorful screens that are on smartphones. And you would be correct. You see, touchscreens, like the ones at cash registers, are only one type of touchscreen. These touchscreens are made of two layers and are separated by a bunch of tiny invisible beads. Then each layer has electricity running through it. When you touch the screen, you bend the top layer until it physically touches the bottom layer. As soon as the layers touch, the electricity in them changes, and that change tells the computer exactly where you touched. Now these touch screens have a couple advantages. Because all you're doing is bending the screen, it doesn't matter if you touch it with your finger, if you're wearing gloves, or if you use a pencil or pen. These touch screens can respond to all of them. But these screens also have some drawbacks. If you don't push them hard enough, the screens won't bend and touch and nothing will happen. This can make the touch screens frustrating to use. Also, you can't usually touch these screens in two places at the same time. So doing things like zooming in won't work. The bright, shiny touch screens you're used to seeing in phones work an entirely different way. The touch screens in your phone take advantage of a special property of your body called conductivity. Conductivity is all about how electricity moves. An electric current can move from one hand in your body all the way up and out the other hand. Because electricity can move through your body, you are called an electrical conductor. Now touch screens, like the ones in your phone, are filled with lots of little dots like these, which release electricity. Normally, the electricity flows smoothly between each of the dots. But remember that your skin is a conductor, meaning electricity can go through it. So when you touch the screen, some of the electricity flows into your finger instead of the other dots. This change tells the computer that you've touched the screen, and the computer can tell where you touched by looking at which dots are affected. These touchscreens are much easier to use than the ones at cash registers. They also let you touch the screen in multiple places at once, letting you zoom or play games on the screen. However, these screens also need to be able to touch your skin, so they work with your fingers, but not if you're wearing gloves, and they won't respond if you touch them with a pencil or pen. However, some gloves now come with special tips that have metal threads in the fingers. Now, just like your skin, metal is a conductor, so you can use your phone if you're wearing these special gloves. So in summary, there are two main types of touch screens that you see being used today. They each use different technologies, but both work to tell a computer exactly when and where you touch the screens. That's all for today, and stay tuned for tomorrow, where we will explore another 5-Minute Mystery.